Okay, time to start the live coding part of lecture two of chapter five, which is also week five of the course, Domain Specific Languages of Mathematics. And what I will do today is to implement the ring of polynomials, representing polynomials as lists of coefficients and getting all the numeric operations to work for them. So part zero, define the DSL, the types for the syntax and semantics and the eval function. Part one, defining the ring methods for polynomials and power series. And part two, define methods for derivative and integral. And I've uh, split up the window here. So I got the header, which I've been very uh, sparse. So I import the prelude qualified. I improve, improve port nothing from the prelude so far except instances and I will have to add a few things for convenience but I would want to make it clear when I do so and I will later import the algebra model module from DSL so math which is where I define the classes for additive multiplicative ring and so on but I will add the things uh, step by step when needed okay so define the DSL so this has been uh, done already on the Jamboard so let's uh, get started so I've been saying that we can represent polynomials by lists of coefficients. So uh, I will do that in Haskell by having a new type around the list uh, to make sure that um, the type the instance declaration doesn't clash with other instances that we make later. So a polynomial over a type A has a constructor, let's call it just P, and then it has a list of A. Okay, so far so good. <clears throat> we define the type. Now we need um, a type for the semantics. So we want to write an evaluator um, so uh, of, of the standard form syntax to semantics. And the syntax here is a polynomial over A. So the semantics, well, a polynomial function is a function from A to A. So the semantics is the function type, but um, this is, doesn't work for all A. It has to be restricted to those A's which are in the class ring. And I'll first just write error to do here and then try to load it. And then it will say it doesn't know what ring is. So this is the point where I need to uh, add to the header the import of DSL of math to the algebra. If I want to be strict, I could say, okay, just import ring here. Okay, and now, as I've been very strict, let's also let me use the the error methods from the type from the prelude. Okay, so now adding ring from the, our own algebra module and error from the prelude, I've been able to get as far as stating the type of the syntax poly A and the type of the semantics functions from A to A, and well, not define eval at least give its type. I think this is the point where I will let this window go to make the more visible uh, the run uh, the REPL. Okay, so what should we do here? Well, we have two possible cases for eval. We have the empty list and we have, well, okay, let's keep the error. We have the empty list and we have the non-empty list. Okay. <clears throat> couldn't match accepted type with poly A, yes, okay. So notice that now I've tried to match on the list, but I've actually said this is a new type with a list internally. So this is actually not quite where we are already. So it's keeping me uh, clear here that eval will take a poly of some coefficients and call eval L. On that list of coefficients. So eval L is the one I'm defining down here and that will have a very similar type just it's stripped the outermost constructor P. Oh I didn't call it poly here just for the abbreviation I call it just P. Okay parse error yes this now suddenly doesn't have a right hand side. Okay good. So now we have defined at least 
the shape of the definition. And let's see, what should be the evaluation of the empty list? So the empty list of coefficient represents the zero functions. So let's try to write zero here. And now it says it doesn't know what zero is. And that's because I've been a little bit too strict in my import. I imported just ring, but I also need to import um, the additive class and its operations. So additive, which has zero, actually it has plus and zero. Okay, so far so good. Now I can write the right hand side as just zero here. And notice this is zero of type function from A to A. So there is a function instance that we defined earlier. Okay, so if it's not zero, then we should provide here a function. And let's use the normal wishful thinking style. I will need to call eval L recursive down AS, and then I will do something here. Let's call it cons. Uh, so eval cons. It will take A in eval A AS. So let's see what eval cons has as type. Well, it should take an A and it should take one of these functions. So notice there is no list here. I've already evaluated the, the tail as to a function. Um, ah, sorry, I'm moving around badly. And then it should return a function. And similarly as before, it will also need the ring constraint. So eval cons takes this uh, first coefficient. Well, we can call it a is here or a zero perhaps. And, and then the function, which I would call f, and it should return a function. And the easiest way to return the function, well, okay, let's, let's be, uh, I, I can return a lambda expression. So given an x, this is the x of type a here, I should return a zero plus x times f of x and maybe maybe i can rename this one p so this is a polynomial function that we're building up okay and now it complains it doesn't know what multiplication is variable not in scope well it's quite reasonable uh, let's import also multiplicative multiply and that has multiplication and one. Okay, good. So now we have a function eval in terms of eval L, which in turn is using eval cons. Let's try to use it. So this is the evaluation of, well, then we need an example. So let's define an example. The simplest example, I guess, is X. So this should be a, for any ring A, it should be a poly A. And X P should be P of 0, 1. So 0 for the constant term as 1 for the coefficient in front of X. So let's see, X P evaluated. Okay, now it says no instance for show. And that's true. I should probably say deriving show here. And then it would complain uh, that I haven't, I don't know what show is, so I'll import show as well. Okay, so let's see now. XP. Yes, XP is the list 0, 1. Perfect. Let's try to evaluate it. So eval of XP, well, it's something with, if we have an add group, a multiplicative, and... Uh, yeah, that's the, the expansion of ring, and then it's a function from R to R. So let's apply it to zero, for example. Okay, that's zero. And uh, yeah, we don't have much else in scope. We we can apply it to the real number 3.4. It will be real on 3.4. Good. So now we've defined the DSL, the type for the syntax. So we call the, the list of coefficient syntax here. We could have... Uh, the functional expression data type, but here let's just keep it simple and use just the coefficients as syntax, and the functions from A to A as semantics. And then we'll move on to defining all the ring operations, but we'll make a little break here.